My name is Joey Jolene Mataele from the Kingdom of Tonga. I am here representing the Tonga Ladies Association, which is the only LGBT um, association in the kingdom. The law that we have that was brought by the British people um, actually discriminates us, you know, and um, that's what a lot of um, the new uh, evangelism churches or their populations are using against us. So far, it hasn't been a, a pleasant um, journey, um, and especially when it comes to the the L and the B, because um, it's really the uh, T or the transgender movement that that leads the work, because we're more visible, we're out, and um, we're actually at the forefront all the time. The lesbian community are not comfortable to come out themselves. When it comes to the actual government, they won't even bother talking about it. You know, and, and that's why there's a lot of um, uh, uh, barriers. You know, even the trans movement, you know, when it comes to decision making, we're nowhere to be seen or heard. I mean, I, I can say that I walk like this every day. You know, um, as a woman, I live as a woman, I do everything as a woman. But when it comes to deciding to, to actually lobby for change of identity and all that, that's where the barrier stops, you know, stops us from walking beyond that. But we've been very lucky that we've had the uh, support of some of the royal family and it has cut a lot of barriers for us. We use our Miss Galaxy pageant, and that's the pageant that actually started funding our works from 1993. And this year will be our 25th anniversary of Miss Galaxy. And Miss Galaxy has funded our work since we started on not only just human rights, but HIV awareness programs and SDI. Um, and we've been able to um, reach out to other um, parts of Tonga, like the, because Tonga is quite vast. It's 170 islands altogether. At the same time, Miss Galaxy has actually funded 62 scholarships for our school dropouts. And, um, and, and it has been a tool that we use to voice our, our issues, you know, and not just, a, we've gone from just a beauty pageant to more um, a campaign or education pageant. You know, you can laugh, but at the same time, the message is going through. What we've been able to do now is running national consultations. And we've been fortunate to have the assistance of the um, Australian government and also the Canadian uh, embassy. We cannot afford the, the national consultations every single month, you know, and um, because we always have to find funding for that. And to travel from one side of the island to the other is quite expensive, you know, and uh, the only way we can do it with a larger crowd that actually brings everybody. And we're talking about 2,000 people in one place, from families to friends, for church leaders, and you know, they all come because it's a fun night, a fun three nights of the pageant. And the excess through the Women's Forum would um, allow us to actually get our voices be heard, you know, not just for women's issues, but for trans LBT women to get their issues through. This world is more a men's world. No, it, that is no longer happening. You know, this, it, there needs to be a 50-50 a balance of, of the decision making. Uh, and and I, I think it's a, it's a very, uh, um, 
magnificent move to have the women's forum that, so the LBT women can be able to speak, um, speak out and be heard.